Hello, and welcome to the Postal Pleasure Channel. Today we're going to take another uh, look at some stamps from East Germany, uh, the DDR. So this is an envelope I bought uh, at the end of last year. I think I generally pay about $4 for these. If you've watched some of my previous uh, Stamps of East Germany videos, uh, you've seen plenty of these envelopes be opened. This is my first time looking in here. I mainly bought these for the mini sheets, but I always happy to fill holes with individual stamps in my collection. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at the sheet first. Or actually, we'll take a look at the smaller sheet first. So this is one that I've probably seen before. Um, it's uh, it's nice though. It's uh, 750 years of Berlin. Very nice. We'll set that up there, top corner. We'll move those out of the way if they become uh, an encumbrance. And then we have here um, from 1986. Five, maybe if it looks like it's a very small print for my eyes here um, looks like it's celebrating a particular bridge I set that one up over there and I'm not sure if I see any other mini sheets so we'll just dig in for now I will stack these on top of each other and then we have this 1977 FDGB Congress Berlin I'm not sure what that's for some flags and handshakes and we have this really neat stamp uh, I'm not sure what that's for looks like we have part of an outfit series here traditional outfits let's spread these out I think that's in frame these look like canceled order here. At least the second one is canceled order. That could be a real cancel. Hard to tell. Uh, no gum there. This one's definitely a canceled order. And this looks like it has a very dull gum. So possibly two canceled orders and two real, but maybe all canceled order. Definitely the ones with the ZPA. That's an indicator uh, for these German stamps so that it's Berlin. It's Berlin uh, ZPA, that's definitely a canceled order. And we have this one, uh, 1977, can't quite tell what that is. We have one of the Lighthouse series. There's a couple Lighthouse series, and it looks like a few more of these. So 15, a 35, and a 20. It's nice with the charts on the background. get this nice violin up there that's really really nice I like that I'll start that over in this corner as a boundary I think that should be in frame then here we have one from the 72 Olympics this looks like wrestling most likely Let's see I'm trying to get things kind of by size so I can block out room a little bit better so here's two of a pair 35 years of the DDR, most likely. Um, that's my best guess, I'm not sure. And a second one. I'm going to move these down just a bit. So it looks like we have a bit of a, a set here. This one is Johann Gutenberg. And Ludwig von Beethoven, so a composer. Now, I'm not sure. I'm wondering if that's the person who made the Gutenberg printing press. Uh, very possible. I guess I should brush up on my history once in a while. And then we have um, some uh, of this series. I guess consider those more of a definitive. That one looks fairly damaged along the edge. There's the 60 of that series. Let's see. This is part of a Karl Marx series. There's quite a few stamps in this series. I'd say six or eight if I remember correctly. Uh, here's an interesting flower. I'll put that here. And this looks like a gymnast on the... Um, I think that's the pommel horse. 1970. And... Frederick Schiller. Don't 
know what his claim to fame is. And here we have a cancel to order uh, block of four. I'll put that over here. Actually, I'll put it right up on top of these. And then here we have part of the five year plan series. I'll set that over here. Okay, two of these. Where were these going to go? Go here. So that's a 20. Uh, looks like um, sport. Looks like oh, diving. Diving. And then this one is. Pistol shooting. And here's another uh, cancel the order block of four. That is a very, very bold cancel. I'll take the lot number out of there. What's this large one? I've got my eyes set on that. So I generally like these large, long, but narrow format stamps. This one's nice. It has the selvage attached. It looks per uh, postally used and uh, actually has numbered uh, selvage. So that's real neat find. I like that a lot. I'm going to, I think, cap off the bottom corner over here with that. Get these back in frame a little if I can. Okay, a couple more big ones here. So... Let's see, now these, these match that one up there, so the 5, and then a 20, and a 35 uh, from the 72 Olympics. Uh, looks like possibly soccer goalie catching a ball, maybe. And that sport is fairly unclear to me. I don't have a clue what that is. They're holding... Oh, pole vault. That's pole vault. There we go. And here's another long skinny one that matches this other one that I put on the bottom. Uh, so maybe I did myself a bit of a disservice by locking them up over there. There we go. We'll move that one there. We'll move this one to match it right there as best we can. Here we have some kind of contraption. Can't quite read what it is. I'll put it up here with the lighthouses. Here we have Lipzinger 77. I think that stamp, most likely, if we move Karl Marx here, I think that's probably a part of a set, if not the whole set. Then we have this nice vertical one here. And let's see, I'll work on this fish. I'm going to do some of this size now if I can. The fish, I was hoping there'd be more of that fish series, but I'm just picking through the pile here to see what we have. Now here's an older one, I believe. 50, 1958 is the uh, postmark on it. This one looks a little older too, but I don't have a date on the postmark. Uh, most likely um, it's about bicycle safety, about using directional signals, I believe, based on the subject. This one looks like a radio signal of some sort, a 5 plus 10 semi-postal from 77. Can't quite read it. Here's one from 1959 with a wonderful post horn, OSS 59. Uh, again, I can't read the small print. Not that my German is even passable anyway. Now here's um, a series, um, which I believe are museum pieces. Uh, they look, These all look Egyptian. I don't know if that's the whole set. I know I have quite a few of this series. Um, but these are nice to find, and they appear postally used, although this one, no, this one's a, a uh, cancel to order with an event cancel. I actually like the event cancels, um, but particularly when they're actually used. Okay, so we have 1959, a nice early one, uh, but again, an event cancel, cancel to order. Here we have a, a 1960. And I'm really running out of space, so I'm going to start this one down in this row. I don't think these are all going to fit out here. This is impressive. Uh, you know what? The solution is is to move that in a moment. Here we have uh, Postmark 71. And a couple from this series of... Well, actually, I've got two here in my hand, but they're both from that series of artworks. Again, the print's a little small for me to read. And I don't think I'm going to fit one there, but I can start maybe over here with the rest of these. And this one should match that, 1977. And let me just move these so I can put...
put the rest down on the corner here. So we have a two women congress. And 20 years of something. Okay, I got two from this set coming up. Uh, it's an architecture stamp. Carl Frederick Schinkel. And another Carl Frederick Schinkel at 25. Postally used, it looks like, for both of them. I have another very large stamp, which I'm going to actually probably move this one up here and oh there's two of them though so maybe I take that back we'll put that back down there and start a new column so we have and actually that matches this so look we'll just do all of these over here then and I'm making a mess of things and I put them in order so 10 20, 25, 35. You know, typically what I find here is I don't have the uh, key stamp to the to the set uh, because it's a higher value. The DDR I like to print one in, in far less numbers uh, in order to bring its value up and make it uh, sort of a collector hunt. Uh, I'm sure it made them some money that way. So we'll move these to match up there. And I'm really, it's a losing battle with neatness here. So I'm still running out of space even after all that. Put in this um, solar clock, that's not the right term for it, um, sundial. And some kind of machinery here from 74. Not quite sure what that is. Have a couple more of these art pieces that we saw a minute ago. And slide this one in here. And we have this one here, which is five years of young something, young readers maybe, based on the, the picture helping me try to guess what that's about. And we really are low on space here. I'm going to overlap these along the bottom. Uh, we have the series here, the 5, the 15, and the 40. And then I have two of this series. I'll just overlap this stamp here. Uh, a 10 and a different 10. So actually two different series there, uh, but similar portraits. And then that re re leaves me with some definitive. So some more five-year plan. I'll just layer these over here real quick. I um, actually like the cancel on this one. I'm not sure what the full city name is going to be, but I'm sure there's enough there to probably figure it out. Somebody that maybe knows the cities better than I do. So there's the five-year plan. And then I have a stack here of, if you can see these at all, I know it's in the dark spot as well, of the official stamps, Dean Smart stamps uh, with the hammer and compass. Just try to fan these out here. And then we'll call this episode a wrap. So again, this was episode... 11 now, I believe, of DDR East German stamps, and then one final different one, which is the uh, definitive here, the 12, and there's also a 24, this definitive, which I don't have in this lot. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, and uh, you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Lately, I've been doing new videos every day or two. Uh, I'll try to keep up that pace if I can. I really appreciate all the uh, subscribers and all of you that watch. And, you know, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you see anything here that I should look into with more detail. I'm certainly not an expert, but Germany is one of the areas I focus on. Uh, but really, I collect worldwide. Thank you.